Hello, this is Christian Wickel from Icopod. This is the Icopod One Minute Talk, episode one. So we will speak about Icopod, and I will tell you the story of Icopod even before Icopod. Number one, Icopod before Icopod. This is not a secret that Mark Newson created Icopod in 94, but it is in 1986 that he created his first watch. The large pod, a 60 mm watch destined to be worn on a shirt. No hands, only, only rotating discs. We assume six only were made and one was sold in auction at Christie's in 21 for 27,000 US dollars. A year later, this is the small pod watch, a 39 mm, with already many codes of the future Icopod. Less than 100 were made, and the legend says that Mr. Newson assembled himself the watches. A bit unwearable, but some could still be found mint, and one was sold in 22 for 12,000 US dollars in Australia. Hello, this is the iCupod One Minute Talk number two. So in 94, Oliver Ike met Mark Newson and he decided to make watches. The first one were branded Pod before Ike was added to Icopod. <laughs> the first ever watch sold by Icopod watches is a sea slug, a 100 meters diver watch, where you can see the lugless concept. No lugs, then the watch is very comfortable and ergonomic. In terms of style, there is a real breakup of the horology codes. The watch will come on a rubber and steel strap, first our branded pod, then later on they were branded Icopod. Size at 39mm, lux to lux, the C slug feel less on the wrist. This is a very important watch for Icopod and we still have some new old stock in our vintage corner. I let you discover them on Icopod.com, vintage corner. This is the iCopod one minute talk number three, the first ever concept watch. This is in 1997 that a UFO landed in the watch and design boutiques. In 97, there was an uproar in watch market that extended into the fashion and design world. iCopod had a new approach to watch design. The case were circular with rounded edge and instead of the usual lugs, the strap is inserted into the pod. The very limited edition of the unique artisanal watch designs became an instant legend. The Emipod is born. Preempting the vogue of the concept watches and independent manufacture, Icopod adorned the wrist of artists, designer and Silicon Valley stores. The brand is often remembered for its cult 97 Emipod watch of elliptic form and UFO allure. This is before many other independent watchmakers, the first ever concept watch. The iCopod One Minute Talk. Number four. We are at the end of the 90s. So it's six years that iCopod is around and the brand is considered as a UFO and distributed by the best point of sales in the world. In San Francisco, in the Alessi boutique, at the Orglas in Singapore, Chronopassion in Paris, and even Colette, where I kept a dealer, fashion design people, architect, and even some controversial rappers were wearing iCopod. Many versions are launched, big dates, flying tool chronograph, and many are with a GMT or dual time function. We can spot La Joupere movement, also Dubois Depra movement. The pinnacle of iCopod come with the famous 47 flight tool Megapod chrono. This very busy dial become with the Emipod the most recognized iCopod, even worn by the Pope of the independent watchmaker, Mr. Max Busser, himself. The iCopod one minute talk number five, the success. 
During the 2000 years, it was a big success of gener Generation 1, the Gen 1 watches with also a rectangle, the Manatee, which is integrated rubber strap. Despite a big success and a string growth, some watches had some technical issues and no compromise was done to improve them as watchmaking tools. All was focused on design and not on the watchmaking manufacturer rules. So the design was king. Also price were a bit high as a Nike pod in this period had always been more expensive than a Rolex. The concept watch was already an iconic watch and newcomers were focused more on complication and aggressive design. So in 2006, it was the first bankruptcy of Icopod after 10 years of big success. The Icopod one minute talk, we are in 2006, it's number six. The brand is took over by a US millionaire and he decided to change a lot of things, took Mark Newson as a consultant and the quality improved a lot with retail prices multiplied by two. An horizon with a net at 28.92 was 12,000 Swiss francs and between 2008 and 2012 the production remained very confidential and it's like art. Around three 100 horizon were done, 300 Solaris, the rectangle ceramic weird watch, and also the 60 minute hourglass were launched at 25,000 Swiss francs each. Generation 2 watches are the pinnacle of Mark Newson design at Icopod, including cows and coons initiated by the new owner. After four years, he decided to put Icopod on rest overnight, and all people were fired. It was like a second bankruptcy in 2012. The Icopod One Minute Talk number seven. After 18 years of creativity, 94 to 2012, the brand was a sleeping beauty. And on the market, many independent brands became famous, including one of the guys who were collecting and loving the Icopod Generation One. Retail prices of Generation 1 were from 2,000 to 10,000 Swiss francs, while the Generation 2 were more expensive, from 12,000 to 50,000. The strong design and module were not sufficient to be sold more than a Rolex. The watches were so expensive. The brand was a source of inspiration for other brands, as the famous strap went on a connected sport watch, the all glass put in other company. There were some watches liquidated at good price and around 400 Icopod were on Chrono24 when I took over the brand. Fortunately now there are only 40 on average. The Icopod one minute talk number eight. We are speaking about the second relaunch on Kickstarter. In 2017, I bought Icopod brand and design directly to the owner. My idea was to divide the price by 20, keeping the DNA and improving some details. In 2017, it was no longer necessary to have 5 million per market to launch a brand. Kickstarter was enough. Many brands were launched or revived with this collaborative platform. The idea is simple. People are preparing a product with a great discount and then they are paying in advance, allowing you to produce the watches and deliver them after six to nine months to what we call the backers. In October 2018, we did a Kickstarter and sold 1,000 watches for 400,000 Swiss francs. So we were ready to be alive again. This Kickstarter allowed us to be present at Basel World 2019. And then we met new customers and distributors and we were able to open new market and we were launched in Japan, the first ever market of Icopod. <laughs> and it was the rebirth of Icopod with the Gen 3. The Icopod one minute talk, number nine. Uh, we are speaking about generation one watches. The collectors called Gen 1 
the watches between 94 and 2006. This is the first period with many different watches produced. The watches are monocoque assembled by the top with a square shaped logo engraved on the dial. All had rare animal names like Manati, Syslug. The most known are Icapod Chrono and Megapod Chrono. No lugs, silicon and rubber straps without lugs and Swiss made watches. The UFO shape is the star of this period and did very well on the wrist of the tech mogul of the Silicon Valley and some famous actor and design architecture people. Generation 1 are the most easy iCupod vintage watch to find and you can still find some good deals on the market. This is the iCupod 1 minute talk. Number 10, Gen 2 watches. They are the watch of the 2008 2012 period. This period was very short, but we saw a lot of new product launched. The horizon is for us the pinnacle of iCupod design with pure elliptic forms. The titanium case are very light and the dial are very simple. Logo is engraved on the sapphire glass. The Solaris, a two dial and two movement watch is the last design of the brand creator for iCupod a very unconventional ceramic watch on steel mesh bracelet. Some gold version are very rare. A true future collector, either in ceramic or in gold. And do not forget the artistic collaboration with Kuhn and Kaos, the best ever iCupod collab with a different color. Four dials, 120 watches were done. This is the one minute talk about iCupod number 11. For the generation three from 2017, we decided to let go the assembly by the top and the complicated movement to focus on quartz first for the relaunch. Also watches were assembled by the back with muta movement with an Audion buckle silicon strap. The first watch hit the market in July 2019. We needed a big watch name to design the dial of the Duopod and Chronopod. Emmanuel Gate took the challenge and designed really beautiful model. He's well known for being the guy who redesigned the Royal Oak Offshore, age 25. Alexandre Peraldi, ex-Cartier, designed the Megapod. Fabrice Gonnet designed uh, the Diver, the Seapod. Claesson Coivistorun, the Skypod Swiss made. And it's still a designer story uh, with many others to come. The iCupod one minute talk number 12, the last one. What's next? So since 2019 and the comeback of iCupod, we are trying to bring new design, but also the pure DNA of the brand was two time on rest. The brand was the first ever concept watch and preempted the vogue of independent watchmakers. iCupod is an iconic brand and part of the contemporary watchmaking history. So what will be the iCupod of the future? We will keep the strong DNA and launch new Swiss made titanium watches and to be the coolest brand under 10K. The Skypod Swiss made titanium is a good example of what we want to do in the future. So many projects are in the pipe and 2024 will bring some cool novelties and drops. If you want to know more about iCupod, please visit our website. Uh, you can discover the e-museum with Gen 1 and Gen 2 watches. Discover the current collection. Also visit our vintage corner when you can buy new all stock watches, Gen 1 and Gen 2 and enjoy. So I hope you enjoy all this story and uh, stay tuned.